What's up, everybody? Welcome to Georgiana, Alabama. We're about two hours from the Florida beaches. And this is the town where the Hank Williams Museum is. So far, the town looks beautiful, historic. Nice Alabama town. We're gonna take a small little tour of this beautiful Alabama town. Today is a Thursday. Should be a nice little tour. It's beautiful here in Alabama this time of year. So we should be set up for a nice little quick tour of this town. Hank Williams uh, was a country singer, one of America's most famous country singers. Notice the metal cage around the windows in this little business here. His son, who likely is managing most of the country music uh, museums today. I'm not sure if he resides here in Alabama anymore. Probably does, since that's all our music ever talks about. I'm a fan of uh, the son's music more than the father's, for a fact. In fact, I've listened to most of the songs and albums. The town's got a really slow pace going on here. I love train graffiti. I don't know about you guys. I don't like these southern Alabama towns layouts where the train tracks come right through town. Um, it kind of takes away a little bit of the town's um, walkability and stuff. But it's neat to have it, nonetheless. If you're from here, you might enjoy it. They got tomatoes. Nice little country store right here. Looks like this is like a real small town, for real. Like this town's really got all the small town vibes. Like just a little store with the door open, no traffic. These small Alabama towns are very, very uh, serene. Lots of serenity. I mean, life here goes at its own speed. Is that a wood bridge to get across the wood tracks? It sure is. Look at these old houses. This is what I love about Alabama right here. These old houses like this. Hit it, what you got for me? Town has 1,600 people. 1,600 people. It is 65% black. 65% black. I'm going to talk a little bit louder so they can hear you, baby. 33% white. 33% white. What's, uh, uh, what are the income? income for the city. Uh-huh is 31,000 per capita? That's mm -hmm. no, not impossible. Let me see. Probably because Hank Williams alone, like, no, that's not impossible. That's what it is. Oh my gosh, how is that even possible? <laughs> the per capita income is 31,000. I guess it's just like, I guess Hank Williams does live here. That's just one person drives up their per capita income. That, that can't be right. But see, about 40% of families are below the poverty line. So that's definitely just Hank Williams right there. <laughs> like one person is able to like, and that happens in a lot of places. So technically, look at this, guys. Just don't let uh, statistics mislead you. So interestingly enough, 40% of the families are below the poverty line. That is horrendous poverty. 40% okay? of families being below the poverty line. That is horrendous. That's that's about as bad as it gets in the United States. Um, few places are, are that poor. But then in, again, on the other hand, it also doesn't take a lot of money to live in a place like this. So the flip side of that is, on one side, yes, for a fact, there's not a lot of income. But then what do you need income for here? I mean, literally, you could probably buy a house here for like $20,000 or something. You know what I mean? Like, no exaggeration. Like, this house here looks decent. 
livable. Like, I'm sure if there were no seller on the market, you'd get the house for, like, anything. You know what I mean? There's a little bit of public housing here. It ain't much. I mean, the cost of living here is probably free. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm sure this is public housing. It's probably public housing in here. So, there's no cost of living, really. And, um... Y'all, hello. You you also have another thing with cost of living in these small little towns, which is that um, a lot of the small towns, the, the money's mostly liquid cash that moves. Not everything in these small towns. Look at these flowers right there on the side of the road. These beautiful pink flowers. Lots of cash money moves in these small towns because there's not that many banks around. Uh, cash money moves a lot. I love these flowers. Purples. And pinks. Love it. But, uh, you know, 40% of families here. So you have some serious income inequality. Or you have one person in this town... Who makes a crap load of money. Um, I mean, I guess in a town of, what, 1,600 people, you said? Mm -hmm. Somebody making... Do 5 million. I don't think it's that much. But do, do like 5 million divided by 1,600, Katie. And just give me a figure. Just, just so I can have an idea. See if my math makes sense. Because that's a lot of income. 31,000 per crap. But I can guarantee you... There's a distortion in those numbers. And it could just be that one person makes a crap load of money. Like if a billionaire lived here or something. Would really um, do 5 million divided by 1,600. 3,125? 3,000. The garden come. So it's 5 million is $3,000 per person. Yeah. So you're talking, there would have to be somebody making $50 million a year mm -hmm. for it to offset the income that much. Yeah. Yeah, there could be somebody making 50, 50 million. I don't think they'll make $50 million a year. You think they could? Who? The Hank Williams people? No. As a collective, though, you got the son, the family. You don't think so? Uh, not that much. I don't think they'll make $50 million a year. Oh. They could, though. They might have other businesses and they might have farms and stuff. It could just be one, like, industry owner. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There could be somebody in this town that's making $50 million a year. And that would offset, offset their income by about $15,000 per person. Which is wild to think about, but there's definitely not $31,000 per person moving to this town. Just the fact that 40% of the population here is living in poverty that's extreme poverty I, I love these small little stores man gosh I love these little towns so cool Southern Express Medical Supply I love it look at the flowers growing out of this building look at that baby look at the red flowers oh, growing through there isn't that pretty gorgeous. it's kind of like what they did in Prattville where like yeah. that's what happened in Prattville where the building fell through and then they turned into a little garden this town is neat. Very slow. I, I think this is probably one of the slowest trains coming. One of the slowest paced towns we've been through, probably. Wouldn't hesitate to say that. What do you think, buddy? One of the slowest paced towns we've been through? Yeah. They have an ancient art block. <laughs> That's funny. Genuine beauty. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a weekday and there's like nothing open. Oh, I have a thrift store. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like the train tracks in this town because, see, you still you're still able to enjoy the downtown because, like, it, it's not like in other Georgia, uh, Georgia, you know, Alabama towns where the train tracks come through, but like here you're able to enjoy it. Yeah. the downtown. It's actually nice how it is. And if you need to go across, they got the stairs. They right got there. the. They had well, you don't need to because you can just drive around. 
You can drive around. So it's not too bad that the train tracks come through town. Well, if you're walking, it doesn't matter. So. Now you think about the, the Hank Williams family. I mean, they, they're good country singers. Look up their net worth. But I don't think, even if they have a big the net worth, are they oh. making? Huh? Look up their net worth. I'll tell you on the internet. Say, it has yeah. the notable people for the town and their analysis. I don't know. There has to be somebody's making. There's no way this town per capita income is really thirty one thousand. Maybe it is. Maybe like half the people here are, are broken and the other half are balling. There's a lawyer. Lawyers make a lot of money. What is that Morgan and Morgan? Four people. Morgan and four. Morgan and Morgan. Four the people who don't want to get a job. <laughs> and for the people who don't want to get a job. Okay. These are the people from the town. Thank you for handing me a phone with a list of things while I'm driving. Hmm. Alabama lawyer. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, safety for the... Oh, see, that guy can make a lot of money. Tom Morrow. Hank Williams. William Herbert. A bass yeah. player for Hank Williams. Thirteen Cowboys. So look up their net worth. Hank Williams net worth. Look it up. I'll tell you. Everything's on the internet nowadays. <laughs> I really think there's individuals here who are offsetting that income by a lot. Or maybe it's just a typo. Who knows? This doesn't look like a $31,000 per... Even Nashville is a $26,000 per person town. This is definitely not that. Talk about income inequality up in here. <laughs> Who's balling in this town? Though? Somebody's really balling. What's it say? Yeah, I'm driving. Just tell me what it... 45 million yeah they would have to be making 45 million dollars a year yeah so that's what i'm saying it doesn't make that wouldn't make artists sense artists don't make that much <laughs> they well, make a lot but they don't yeah. make like yeah there's that. there's definitely something offsetting here we go that guy might be it right there can i see the map real quick yes did i ever tell you que no me deja agitando Constantly, I still don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I've been screaming at you this for years and you don't know what it means? I've been screaming this at you for years and you don't know what it means? There's another housing project here. We gotta get going. You scream things at me, expect me to understand them, and they get mad when I don't understand them. Oh, this guy's got wheels on all his cars. That might be right there. <laughs> that might be half the income right there. Is that a church or a house? Ooh, look at that. Cute little house. Maybe it's cool. Yeah. Not bad. Well, there's a, a lot more to the town. There's a lot more housing projects and trailer parks and stuff. Um, so this is probably the better side of the town. I'm going to guess that Pilgrim's Traveler's Church is probably on that one. It looks a little bit more good. But uh, this is the main part of town. There's a bunch of trailer parks and stuff. On the other side of town, I'm sure if, the, if I show that, the people that live in this town won't be happy at me. And you only show the bad side. I'm like, I show whatever side I land in, okay? People act like I do it on purpose. I do sometimes, I do it. Sometimes I do. Well, off to Florida, I guess. What do you think about this town, Katie? I, I, it would be way too slow paced for me. Just a little bit too slow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look at this place. It's just like Cadillac on 22 with a blown head gasket and for a good mechanic. Cadillac on 22s. I love the tall pines. Tall pines. Scotts Hill. Okay. Quiet, that's a shirt. Bro, come we going on 38. Very slow paced town. Okay, off to Indonesia. What is conmigo no mean? Conmigo no. Conmigo means with me, and then no means no. So it denotes that with me, you're not, whatever you got going on, you're not going to be able to use it on me. 
Conmigo no. I have nothing going on. Conmigo no would kind of know that not with me, I guess. Conmigo no, not with me, I, I guess. And the Lucia, Alabama. 26 miles. Conmigo no would denote like not with me. Which would kind of mean like, like whatever crap you got going on, you're not going to be able to go at it with me. Conmigo no. Conmigo means with me. And then no means no. So with me, no. It means like whatever crap you're doing, it ain't gonna, like, not with me. I love these train tracks just rolling through these woods. Wouldn't that be awesome just to ride through there? That's one thing I would ever, I would love to enjoy doing. Riding trains. I've never done it since I was in Cuba. Riding trains is cool. Now we're kind of on the on the southern outskirts of the town. Conmigo no. I guess it wants me to turn down this trail. Oh, wow, that's scary. Is that a road there? Oh, that's actually a road. Okay. Conmigo no. What's the other one you don't understand? Me mm meteja -hmm. agitando. You know what that one means, right? Don't ru Don't be rushing me. What the hell you down though? Means don't rush me. You say that when I'm getting up the stairs all the time. Don't be rushing me? Yeah. Yeah. But yet you're the one rushing me. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's kind of uh kind of an oddball there. I'm rushing you, but I'm telling you not to rush me. Which would denote like a massive lack of respect for you. That's the nice thing about speaking another language. I can say things to you that are very evil that you don't understand. No me estés agitando a hacer it. And then I said it. No me estés agitando a hacer That's not even like proper dialogue to speak to a woman. Because I said it's a guy. Like, like your homeboy or something. Yeah. Well. Alright. There's a tour of... Uh, most of Georgiana, Alabama, town with uh, interesting income situation, and uh, somebody here is making a lot of money, but I suspect it's not everybody. <laughs>